our workout. Today we're going to use our box a little later, but let's go ahead. We'll get started with our footwork springs on. You can go on to three reds. If you do want a little heavier for your legs, feel free to add on a yellow or a blue. We will be doing some unilateral work today for our uh, footwork. And then we're just going to go ahead and lie ourselves down onto our reformers. So once we lie down, just starting with your feet wherever they feel comfortable, arms can just be nice and long at your sides. And we're just gonna begin in our neutral spine so we have that nice natural little curvature of our low backs. Let's just start with a little breathing exercise before we begin. So let's take a deep inhale. And as we inhale, we're gonna feel our ribs just expanding out to the sides of the room and into the mat underneath us. And then on our exhale, just letting our ribs naturally fall back together. And then again, deep inhale, feel our belly fill up. And then exhale, just let everything get nice and heavy down into the mat. Let's take a few more deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth. And as we take these last couple breaths, just noticing if anything is off from that center line of your body. So maybe if we're a little more weighted into one hip than the other, one shoulder than the other, just making those small little corrections. And then let's just take one more deep inhale, one more deep exhale. And then we'll take another inhale in our neutral spine. On an exhale, let's just go ahead and roll ourselves into our 12 o'clock position. So we're flattening the low backs down into the mat. And then on an inhale, we'll go ahead and roll into our six, finding a nice little arc. And again, exhaling as we roll into our 12. And then inhale as we roll back into our six. So if we imagine that we have a nice big clock on our stomach, our sternum is our 12 o'clock hand and our pubic bone is our six o'clock hand. So just going from that 12 to that nice little flexion of the spine into our six, rolling into that extension. And then let's just do one more 12, one more six. And from our six, we'll just go ahead and bring ourselves back into our neutral. Hands are gonna grab our shoulder blocks. Elbows are just gonna open nice and wide out to the sides of the room. If your feet are not on the foot bar, go ahead and draw your feet on the foot bar. And then from there, we're gonna pick our knees up into a tabletop position and just allow the low backs to go flat down into the mat. On an inhale, we'll sway the knees to the right side of the room, allowing the hip and the back to come up, but keeping your left shoulder blade anchor down into the mat. On your exhale, draw your knees back into your tabletop. Inhale as you sway to the left side of the room, keeping the right shoulder blade anchored. And then exhaling as you come back into your tabletop. And then we'll just continue to sway back and forth from the right side to the left. Again, just thinking about warming up our spine now in a nice little rotation. Shoulder blades to anchor down into the mat. If this does not feel good for you, feet can go onto the foot bar. And you can do the same thing with the knees swaying, relaxing your feet down into the foot bar. Inhale to sway. Exhale, engaging our obliques to bring the knees back. And then wherever you are at, let's just do one more to the right, one more to the left. And then when you do finish the one to the left, just go ahead and set your feet right back down out in front of you on your foot bar. We're gonna start with the heels on. They're gonna be parallel with each other, just about a fist distance away. Arms back down to our sides, and we're gonna come right back into our neutral spine. We're gonna start off with four bridges. So we'll take an inhale in our neutral. On an exhale, flatten the low backs down into the mat, and just start to peel the spines up off the carriage one vertebrae at a time. Pausing at the top for an inhale. On the exhale, feel your sternum get heavy as you just roll your spines one bone at a time back down into the mat. Inhale, bring it back into your neutral. Again, exhaling as you flatten and you peel your spines up, use your glutes, use your hamstrings. Take that inhale 
and then exhale roll the spines all the way back down inhale in our neutral again exhaling as we flatten and we peel send the tailbone to the backs of the knees take an inhale exhale articulate the spines all the way back down into the mat we'll just do one more inhale in our neutral exhale flatten and peel feel the glutes the hamstrings work to bring you up pause for that inhale and then exhale articulate the spines all the way back down into the mat just one vertebrae at a time now go ahead just come into a flat back and have your legs go nice and long over your foot bar we're going to move into some roll-ups just to warm up our core if you have a stiff back you can take one leg under and one leg over so we're hooking our legs and that'll help to bring you up into your roll-up if you need to so let's reach the arms just nice and long up to the ceiling take an inhale first on an exhale nod the chin to the chest and scoop into the abdominals as we start to peel our spines up <sighs> taking an inhale at the top and then on that exhale, tuck the pelvis one vertebrae at a time as we start to roll the spines back down. Inhale, coming right back down. Exhale again, nod the chin to the chest, scoop into the abdominals, peel the spines up. Inhale at the top. And then exhale, tuck, roll it back down. Just like your bridges, one vertebrae at a time as we peel it back down. Inhale, exhale, nod, curling up inhaling at the top and then exhale tuck roll it all the way back down into the match we'll do one more like that inhale back exhale nod the chin to the chest scooping into the abdominals to lift pause for an inhale and then exhale tuck roll the spines all the way back down now once we come down we're going to move into some obliques so we're going to exhale nod the chin back to the chest rotate slightly to the right and we're going to peel up to the right side stay to the right at the top take an inhale and then exhale we're going to roll ourselves back down one vertebrae at a time staying in that slight little rotation to the right inhale come back to the center exhale back to the right nod the chin to the chest rotate to the right as we curl up inhale at the top exhale stay to the right as we tuck and we roll our spines all the way back down inhale come back to center we'll do two more there exhale curl rotate right <sighs> inhale at the top exhale tuck roll it all the way back down one vertebrae at a time inhale center and then last one to the right <sighs> and roll it down and center then we'll go to the left exhale nod the chin to the chest curl rotate to the left inhale at the top Stay to the left as we tuck the pelvis. And again, one vertebrae at a time, just start to roll your spines down. Inhale, come center. Exhale, feel those left obliques really working to get you up in that curl. Inhale. And then exhale, tuck, roll it back down. Inhale, center. Two more. Pausing for that inhale. Exhale, roll it back down. Inhale, center. Last one. And roll it back down then once we come back to center just bring the arms back down to the sides and draw your heels just right back down onto your foot bar so we'll begin with both heels on the foot bar coming back into our neutral spine on an inhale let's just go ahead and lengthen ourselves out and then exhale as we bend to come back in inhale as we push and then exhale to pull so thinking we want to hold that neutral spine the entire time our sacrum stays heavy our pelvis just stays nice and still pushing out pulling in feel those legs working on that out and then drawing your core in on that in we're gonna go three two one and in then let's slide the arches of the feet on the right foot is going to stay on the left knee is going to come up into tabletop inhale press our right leg out exhale bring it in push and pull again just really working on that pelvic stabilization everything just stays nice and heavy as we press and then pull leg works to press 
abdominals draw in on that pull. Three, two, one, in. Now stay in, keep your right foot on, left knee up into tabletop, headrests are all the way down, and then let's just move into three unilateral bridges. So on our exhale, flatten the low backs down, peel the spine up off the carriage, inhale at the top, and then exhale, articulate the spines all the way back down into the mat. Inhale in our neutral. Exhale, flatten and peel the spines up. Feel that right side working to get you up. Inhale, exhale, think even the roll throughout the right and the left side to get back down. Last one, exhaling as we flatten and we peel. Hold, stay up there, extend your left leg straight up to the ceiling without the pelvis shifting. Inhale, lower that left leg down. Exhale, lift it up. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Really feel that right side working to stabilize you here. Lower, lift. Let's do three, two, last one. And then roll your spines all the way back down into the mat. Go ahead, set the left arch on. Right knee up into tabletop, back into our neutral spine. Inhale as we press out with the left leg. Exhale as we bring it back in. Push and pull. So again, think about that pelvis, that sacrum just lying nice and heavy. If we're down in some clay, everything just stays nice and heavy in that clay. Feeling that leg working as we push and then drawing our core in on that pull back. Leg pushes, belly pulls. Let's do three, two, one, and in, back into those three bridges. Exhale as we flatten and peel the spines up, holding for that inhale, and then exhale, think evenly weighted throughout that right and the left side as we roll our spines back down. Once you come down, inhale in your neutral, exhale, flatten and peel the spine up, take that inhale, and then exhale, roll it back down. Inhale in your neutral, Exhale, flatten and peel. Hold it at the top. Extend your leg straight up to the ceiling. Again, without the pelvis shifting, inhale, lower the right leg down. Exhale, lift it up. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Lower and lift. Again, really feeling that left side working to stabilize you here. Let's go three, two, one, and then roll the spines all the way back down. Once we come down, set your right foot down onto the foot bar. Toes and balls of your feet are gonna go on. Again, just about that sits bones distance away. Staying in their neutral spine. Press our carriages right back out. Hold ourselves out there. Let's lower the heels underneath the foot bar and then lift the heels up high. We're gonna lower and then lift, lower, and lift. So think about a two count to lower and a two count to lift. We'll go three, two, one, and then bend to bring it back in. Now stay on your toes, go right back out, and we'll lower for six, five, four, three, two, and one, and bring it back in. Now right back out for four, and we should really feel that lift now coming from the backs of the legs into the glutes. Last one. Bend to bring it back in, and then last set for two, press it out. Lower, lift, lower, lift, and then bend and come all the way back in. Then once we come back in, we'll just stay on our toes. We'll press our carriages right back out, and then let's just go into a run. Bending one knee, and then lowering the opposite heel, taking that run at your own pace. We'll go four, three, two, one. We'll keep one heel lowered, one knee bent, just stretch out the back of your leg. And then let's go ahead and switch. A 
lift both heels up high, bend the knees, and just bring those carriages all the way back in. Then once we come back in, we'll sit ourselves up. We'll just go to a middle red spring. If you would like a little extra work for your arms, feel free to go a middle red and a yellow. And then we'll pop our foot bars all the way down. All right, so once we get that foot bar down, we'll lie ourselves down onto our reformers, and then we'll reach back and we'll grab a hold of our short loops into our hands. Now, if you did add on that extra yellow spring, if you would like it a little lighter for your arms at any point, feel free to grab onto your long loops instead of your short loops. So arms are just gonna go directly over the shoulders, neutral spine, and we'll just draw our knees up into a tabletop position. On an exhale, we're just gonna press the arms straight down to the mat, we'll hold them down there. On an inhale, open our arms out to a T. And then on our exhale, press the palms to the hips. Inhale out to a T. Exhale, palms to hips. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. So we should feel our lats and our biceps engaging on that press. Think again on each exhale, two inches underneath your belly button, draws in and up your spine towards your solar plexus. So engaging those abdominals on each exhale. Last one, hold it at your hips, and then inhale, just lift the arms up to the ceiling. Exhale, pull them down to your sides. Inhale up to the ceiling, and exhale, pull. Good. And again, think about those abdominals drawing in and up on each exhale. We're gonna go for two. And then last one, exhale, press and then inhale, return. Now pause with the arms up to the ceiling. Let's add in our ab curl with that. So on an exhale, press, nod the chin to the chest, curl up into your abdominal curls, and then inhale, return back down with control. Again, exhale, nodding the chin to the chest, a curl from our bra line. Inhale as we return. Think reaching through our fingertips as we curl up. <sighs> inhale, return it back down. Exhale, press, curl. Inhale to return. Let's go for three, two, and now on this last one, I want you guys to hold yourselves up in that curl. Let's add in some arms and some legs. So as we open the arms out to the T, reach your right leg out away from you. Exhale, pull it all back in. Inhale, open the arms, reach your left leg out. Exhale, bring it back in. Inhale, open. Exhale back. Now, if the neck is ever an issue, just go ahead and relax your head right back down into your headrest. Inhale, open. Exhale, press. Let's do one more right. One more left. And then we'll reach the arms up, relax the head, and then just relax the feet right back down. In between your sets, if you just want to give your knees a little sway from side to side, you can. You can always hug them into your chest if that feels good. Just trying to release that tension out of your body. Let's reach those arms straight back up to the ceiling. Again, in our neutral spine, knees are going to draw right up into our tabletop position. On an exhale, press, curl ourselves right back up into our ab curls, hold. Now on an inhale, reach both legs out as we open the arms out to a T. Exhale, pull it back in for our double leg stretch. Inhale, open the arms, reach legs. Exhale, pull it back in. Let's go for four. Three. Two. And then last one, arms up, head down. And again, just relax the feet. Give yourselves a little bit of a break before we switch. And then let's just extend those arms again, nice, nice and long. Knees back up into our tabletop position. When we curl up for this one, if it feels better to come out of your neutral spine, feel free to come out of your neutral spine for our straight legs. So when we press and we curl up this time, we're gonna hold, we'll reach both legs straight up to the ceiling. Again, feel free to let the low back go down. Now as we lower just the right leg, we're gonna lift both arms up to the ceiling. 
And then exhale, lift the leg and pull the arms down. Lower the left leg as we lift the arms. Exhale, pull and lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Let's go for three, two, last one. As we lift the arms, bend the knees, relax the head, and the feet right back down. Whew. And then let's just finish off with some double legs. So let's reach those arms again just nice and long. Knees back up into our tabletop. When we curl ourselves up, extend both legs up to the ceiling. And then as we lower both legs, lift the arms. Lift the legs and pull the arms down. <sighs> Inhale. Exhale. <sighs> We're going to go for four. <sighs> Two. <sighs> and one. <sighs> Bend the knees. Arms up, head down. And again, relax those feet. Feel free, give those knees a little sway. Let's reach our arms again, just nice and long, back into our neutral spine. We'll draw the knees just right back up into a tabletop position. And then from there, let's just go into some arm circles. So let's press the arms straight down to the mat, open them out to the sides to circle them around and back up. Exhale, press. Inhale to circle around and up. We'll go two and one and back up. Then let's reverse. Open to the T, press to the hips, reach it back up. Two and one. Arms up, feet down, and then hang those straps back up. Once we hang our straps up, we'll sit ourselves up. If you have on that extra yellow spring, go ahead and take it off. So now we're just on a middle red. And then we'll sit on our reformers facing our straps. Let's have the knees bent today, the feet and the head rest. And then we'll grab a hold of our straps into our hands. Now again, long loops, short loops, kind of up to you. Long loops are going to be a little more challenging. Short loops are going to make it a little easier for some roll-ups. So, knees bent, we have plenty of space behind us, at least a palm's width. Arms are gonna reach nice and long away from us. And then on the next hill, we're just gonna tuck our pelvises and we'll roll ourselves down into our sacrum. So that lowest part of your back, take an inhale, exhale, scoop into the abdominals almost sit back up. Inhale at the top, exhale, tuck, roll ourselves down, hold for an inhale, exhale, come up. Rolling back on that exhale. Pause for that inhale. Exhale, come up. Let's do one more. Exhale, tuck, roll. Inhale. And then exhale, come all the way back up. Now, tuck, roll yourselves back down. Hold yourselves here, take an inhale. On your exhale, draw your right knee up into a tabletop position. Inhale, set it down. Exhale, left knee up. Inhale, down. Now, just be mindful, shoulders are down collarbones are wide and we're keeping that nice little tuck of the pelvis so thinking curling your pubic bone towards your forehead we're going to go one more right one more left and then we'll come all the way back up and then feel free to give yourselves a little butterfly stretch sit yourselves back up again these bent heels in the headrest on your exhale, tuck and roll yourselves back down towards your sacrums. Hold here for an inhale. Exhale, let's curl up a few inches. <sighs> inhale, roll down a few inches. Exhale, curl up. Inhale, roll down. So just little pulses up and down. <sighs> Three, two, one. And then come all the way up. Again, little butterfly stretch in between those sets. Sit up, knees bent, feet in the head rest, and then let's combine those last two movements together. So long loop, short loops, again, up to you. Tuck the pelvis, roll yourselves back down towards your sacrum and hold here. Take an inhale. As we draw right knee up into tabletop, we're gonna curl to the knee 
and then we'll roll back down. Left knee up as we roll up, inhale down. So little pulses as we draw the knee into the chest, and then lower back down. So everything comes up at once, everything lowers at once. Let's go. Three, two, one, and then come all the way up. Hang those straps up once you come up. We'll sit ourselves off to the sides. Just a blue spring, take that red one off, and then we'll take our long boxes and our long boxes will go on. So once we get our long box on, it can go in front of the shoulder blocks rather than over. We'll come kneeling on our boxes, facing our straps, and then our hands are just gonna be on the two front corners of the box. Knees are gonna be back so that we're right into that kneeling position or quad pet position. We're gonna start with a little cat cow. So on an exhale, press into your palms, tuck your pelvis around through your spine, and then inhale as you come back down. Exhale, tuck around, and then inhale back down. Now think when you round into your cat, press into your palms, feel your scapula draw away from each other, like your protraction. And then as you let the belly drop down, feel your shoulder blades almost pinch together for a little retraction. Exhale, tuck around, push in for that protraction. Inhale, drop down for our retraction. Let's do one more. Inhale down, and then just bring yourselves right back into a neutral spine. Now, we're gonna slide the left knee to the center. The right knee is gonna kinda come off to the side. Left hand to the center of the box. Grab your strap into your right hand, and then long loop or short loop, we're gonna do some tricep kickbacks here. So I'm gonna grab a hold of my short loop to make it a little heavier. Draw the right elbow into your side body, and then exhale, press your palm back. Inhale, bend. Exhale, press. Inhale, bend. If this is too much on the wrist, come down onto your left forearm and do the same thing on your forearm. Exhale, press. Inhale, back. Let's go two. Last one. And then back. And then when you press back, take that long loop and place it onto the arch of your right foot. Bring both hands right back to the corner of the box and we should all be set up for this next exercise. So on an exhale, we're gonna kick our right leg back behind us and we're gonna hold it back there. Now, bring the leg slightly out to the right side. Inhale, lower the leg down to the floor. And then exhale, kick your leg straight back up. <sighs> Inhale, sweep it down to the floor. Exhale, lift it up. <sighs> Inhale, lower. And exhale, lift. So feel your shoulders working to stabilize you, feel your core working to stabilize you, and you should really feel your right oblique working as you lower, and then as you lift. Also getting that glute maxifier. We're gonna do two. And then last one, and lift. Now, bend your knee, bring it back down onto the box. You're gonna sit yourself, which I'm facing away from you, but you're gonna sit onto your left hip, and then you can either bring your left forearm onto the box, onto your shoulder blocks, or into your headrest. I'm gonna go into my headrest because I'm tall, and then we're gonna draw the top knee, which should be your right knee, about hip distance above your bottom leg. Hips are stacked, shoulders are stacked, and then on an exhale, we're gonna go into sideline. We're gonna press our right leg out, and then inhale as we come back in. Exhale, press away, inhale back. Now, if you ever need to support your head, you can bring your elbow down, and you can take your left fingers to support your neck. Otherwise, you can take the opposite hand, the right, and you can just hold your head to support that neck. Exhale out. Inhale back. Let's do three, two. Last one, you're gonna hold it out there, and then on an inhale, kick your leg forward. Exhale, kick back. Inhale, sweep forward. 
axial kick back. So now we should still feel that larger glute muscle working, that glute max, but we should also be feeling those stabilizer muscles working as well. Let's do two. And then last one and kick. Now slide the strap around your knee. So you're gonna take it, it's gonna go right around your knee and then we're just gonna bend our right leg again and just stack it on top of the bottom. From that stacked position, lift your knee just as high as you can go without your hips rocking back. So keeping the hips stacked, dip the toes down and then bring the knee back out in front of you for a circle. So we're gonna lift up, dip the toes down, bring the knee back out. Up, down, and out. Just keeping those hips stacked on top of each other the entire time, circling from that hip joint. Feel those smaller glute muscles working. Then we're gonna reverse. So kick back, lift, bring the knees together. Three, two, and one. All right, take that strap off of your leg. We'll hang it on up, and then we'll come back into that four-point kneeling position. So coming back onto our box, we'll take a hold of the left strap. Again, long loop or short loop, I'm gonna grab a hold of my short loop for those little tricep kickbacks. Slide the right knee to the center, left knee off to the side. Right hand onto the center of the box, otherwise come down onto your forearm. Draw the left elbow right into your ribs. Exhale, press the palm back. Inhale, bend for a little tricep kickback. We have two and one and back. Then press your arm back, hold, take the strap onto the left arch of your foot, both hands back to the center of the box and we should be all set up. On our exhale, we're gonna press our left leg back, hold it back there, bring it slightly out to the side, inhale, lower the leg down, and then exhale, lift it up. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. Again, feeling the shoulders, the abdominals working to stabilize you, and then really feeling those left obliques as well. And we get that left glute max to fire. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. We're gonna go for three, two, one, and then bring the knee down. Now, sit again onto your right hip. Either draw your forearm down onto the box for your sideline, shoulder blocks, or come into your headrest. Top hip distance up off the bottom. Thinking, making sure that we're not relaxing down here, so we're pushing into our form so that our shoulder's out of our ear. On an exhale, we're gonna press our top leg out, and then inhale, bend. Exhale, press, inhale, bend. So again, hips are stacked, shoulders are stacked. We're getting that push coming from that glute max. And back. And we'll go three, two, and then last one. Now hold, inhale, kick your leg forward, and then exhale, kick it back. Inhale forward, exhale back. Sweep forward and back. Again, getting that larger glute muscle, that glute maxifier, also feeling those stabilizer muscles working, which we're really gonna feel on that next exercise. We have two, and then last one. Again, if you need to support your hand, you can, or if you need to support your head, support your head, take that strap, 
around the knee, stack the knees on top of each other, and then we're gonna lift our top knee up just as high as we can go without the hips unstacking. Dip the toes down, bring the knee back out in front. Lift up, dip knee in front. Again, feeling those smaller stabilizing muscles working. You might notice a difference on the sides. Support that neck if you need to. We have two, last one. And then we have to reverse. Whew. Three, two, and one. All right, we'll take that strap off. We'll go ahead and hang it up. And then once we hang that strap up, we'll sit ourselves off to the sides. And we're just gonna go onto a middle red spring. You guys can take that blue spring off. All right, once we get onto that middle red, we'll sit ourselves just back down onto our boxes. Reach behind you, grab your straps back into your hands, and then we're gonna scooch pretty far forward onto the edges of our boxes for a little teaser. Arms are gonna come down to our sides. We're sitting up just nice and tall on top of our sits bones to start. And then let's move into that J curve. So we're gonna tuck the pelvis and roll ourselves just slightly off the sits bones right onto our tailbone. Hold here for an inhale. Exhale one knee up into tabletop pause. Exhale one knee up into tabletop pause. Now, hold yourselves here. We're gonna exhale lift the arms. Inhale lower. Exhale lift. Inhale, lower. Again, think about the shoulder blades staying down as we lift, those collarbones staying wide, so we're not hunching or rounding forward as we lift, and then lower. We'll do three, two, and one. And then lower. Now, go ahead, set your feet down, and sit yourselves up. Let's try a full teaser. So let's tuck the pelvis, roll back again into that J curve, one knee at a time up into your tabletop position. This time, one press of the arms, hold, extend your legs out. If this does not feel good for your hip flexors, keep your knees bent. And then from here, start to roll your spines down. As you do so, the arms are gonna open out to the sides, so the legs are gonna lower as the spine goes down. Arms out to a T. Once you get your shoulders back, let your head go back and just kind of rest your legs on your foot bar. Take an inhale here, exhale, nod the chin to the chest, press the palms of the hips, scoop into the abdominals, lift the torso and the legs, take an inhale, and then exhale, lower it down. <sighs> legs and spine at the same time. Inhale, exhale, nod the chin to the chest, press into the palms, scoop and lift. <sighs> inhale, and then exhale, roll it back down. Let's do two more of those. Lower, inhale, and then last one. Inhale at the top, exhale, we gotta go back down, hold, drop your straps, and then either sit yourselves up or come up into an unweighted teaser. I'm gonna come up into an unweighted, so I'm gonna nod my chin to chest, lift, and then set the feet down and we'll step off the boxes. We'll keep everything the way it is. We'll just bump our foot bars up to the starting position, and then we'll lie ourselves down onto our stomachs, onto our boxes, facing our foot bars. Once we lie down, have your bra line come about right to the edge of the box, maybe a little further off. Hands onto the foot bar nice and wide, thumbs with the fingers, and then legs wherever they feel comfortable. I like mine wide. We're gonna press our carriages all the way out and we're gonna hold ourselves out here. Now, from there, push even more so that your shoulders come up into your ears, and then draw your shoulder blades down your spine and hold there with long arms. Think little push of your pelvis down into the box, squeeze your glutes and your hamstrings, and inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, lower down. Again, think push the pelvis down, squeeze the glutes and the hamstrings. Inhale, lift the chest up into that swan. And exhale, lower. 
Let's do two. And lower, giving those abdominals a little stretch after that core work. Last one. And lower. Now bend the elbows, bring it back in. Add on a blue spring with that red. Keep your legs again wherever they feel comfortable. Hands still stay wide on that foot bar. And we're gonna finish off with 10 push-ups. So a little press of your pelvis, squeeze your glutes and your hamstrings. Exhale, push your arms out. Inhale, bend wide to come back in. I stay looking down to the floor so that we keep that neck in line with the spine. And think never lazy legs, always active. We have four more. Three, two, and one. All the way back in, step off that box. Once you step off, let's go ahead and we'll just set our boxes back. Once we put the boxes back, can hang your straps back up onto the pegs. And then we'll go on to two outside red springs and everything else can come off. We'll lie ourselves right back down onto our reformers. And then once we come down, go ahead, reach back, grab a hold of our loops and then the long loops are going to go onto our feet. Once we get them there, we're just going to come back into our neutral spine. We're going to start in our Pilates stand so heels together, toes are turned apart, and the legs are just going to be up as high as we can hold our neutral. On an exhale, let's just lower the legs down towards our springs, and then inhale as we hinge to come back up. Exhale, lower. Inhale, hinge. Exhale, lower. And inhale, hinge. We'll just do one more like that. Lower and lift. Now let's add in with that. So we're going to exhale, lower the legs down, hold. Inhale, open the legs out to the sides. Exhale, close. Inhale, hinge to come back up. Exhale, lower the legs. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Inhale, hinge. Keep going with those. So just adding in those adductors. Feel those inner thighs working to draw those heels right back together. And again, just staying in our neutral spine the entire time. Think all of our ribs are staying heavy down into that mat. And then we'll just do one more. Pausing at the top. Come into our internal rotation or medial rotation, staying in our neutral spine. On the next exhale, just lower the legs down to the springs, and then inhale as we hinge to come back up. Exhale, lower. Inhale, hinge. Let's do three, two, and then last one and then back up. Now let's add in that open and close. So exhale, lower the legs. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Inhale, hinge. Exhale, lower. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Inhale, hinge. And then just trying to stay into that internal rotation the entire time. So keeping those toes pointed, those heels apart. We'll do two. And then last one. And then right back up. Now, come back into your external rotation so heels together, toes apart. Stay in that neutral spine. We'll lower the legs just straight down towards our springs. We'll open them wide out to the sides just to circle the legs around and back up. Down, around and up, staying in that external rotation two more and then last one pause at the top and then reverse those circles again staying in that external rotation so every time we draw the legs together the heels are together the toes are apart we have two and then last one 
pause at the top when we come up internally rotate so toes the other heels apart lower the legs down to the springs open them out to sides bring them together again toes the other heels apart for now our internal circles we're going to do two last one pause at the top and then reverse feel those adductors again working to draw those toes together we just have two and one pause at the top bring your feet wherever they feel comfortable I'm just gonna come into a little prayer stretch with the bottoms of my feet together give those straps a little pull and then we'll take the straps off the feet we'll hang them on up and then once we hang them up we'll sit ourselves off to the sides we're gonna finish off with some planks and some stretches so let's go on to just Two outside reds can come off. We're going to finish off kneeling on our reformers, facing our straps. When we kneel, we'll take the hands onto the shoulder blocks, and then the toes and balls of our feet are going to be right on that edge of the carriage on that wooden platform. And then we're going to push out into a plank. So think strong base, press your legs, hold yourselves out here. Now, stay right into your plank. We're going to take our left foot first, bring it down onto the floor as far forward as you can get it, and then we're going to lower the hips. As we lower the hips, the chest should lift, just like a little swan thing, shoulders down, collarbones wide, stretching out the front of our right leg. Then as we lift the hips up, the shoulders should end up right back over our hands, and then we're going to step that left foot back up, hold your plank step to the right lower the hips lift the chest stretch out the front of your left leg lift the hips and then take that right foot back let's do one more on each side left foot down lower the hips lift the chest think shoulders down collarbones wide lift the hips step that left leg back up last one to the right step it down lower the hips lift the chest lift those hips up step right back up into your plank let's just hold our plank for six three two one bend your knees come down and then just give yourselves a little stretch into child's pose we'll sit up you can just sit yourselves off to the sides and we're all done for our day.